A vibrating string will vibrate as a sum or superposition of characteristic modes. The first mode is shown here. As you can see, it is a simple motion, up and down. One repeated motion is a cycle. Therefore, this repeated motion has a frequency of F1 cycles per second for some positive number F1. This repeated string motion generates the fundamental harmonic for the strings note, which also has the frequency F1. Mode 2 is shown here. It vibrates twice as fast with frequency 2F1. This motion generates the second harmonic of the string's note. Mode 3, vibrating three times as fast, frequency 3F1. And here, Mode 4, vibrating four times as fast, frequency 4F1. These modes are all vibrating simultaneously within the overall string motion, generating all of the harmonics of the note being played by the string. One interesting feature of modes higher than one is that there are points within the string that do not move. These points are called nodes. For instance, here, the middle of the string is a node for mode two. This node is not moving during the vibration of mode two. While here, for mode three, there are nodes at a third the string length and two-thirds the string length. For mode four, there are nodes at a quarter, a half, and three-quarters the string length. Notice that the node at one-half the string length is also a node for mode two. All even-numbered modes have a node at one-half the string length. For the odd-numbered modes, however, the point at half the string length is moving, vibrating. These properties of nodes are made use of in a method for playing stringed instruments called playing harmonics. Suppose the player gently touches this node at one half the string length. This will suppress all the odd numbered modes since this point at one half the string length is supposed to move for those modes. It will not affect the even numbered modes since the point at one half the string length is a node for these modes. Therefore, the even-numbered modes are relatively amplified in comparison to the odd-numbered modes, effectively creating a new fundamental with frequency 2F1 and overtone harmonics with frequencies of 4F1, 6F1, 8F1, and so on. This is called playing the second harmonic. Likewise, one could play a third harmonic by gently touching the vibrating string at the node of a third the string length, or at the node of two-thirds the string length. Gently touching one of those nodes will suppress all modes that are not multiples of three, relatively amplifying all modes that are multiples of three. This creates a new fundamental with frequency 3F1 and overtone harmonics of 6F1, 9F1, 12F1, and so on. This is called playing the third harmonic. 
playing harmonics produces tones with a delicate sound, different than typical notes from stringed instruments. Our next two examples show this for a guitar and violin. 